Lecture 6. Photographing Bathrooms Potential guests want to be able to see the level of privacy, lighting, comfort, shower size, and vanity space the bathroom has to offer them. Bathrooms and en-suites can be the most difficult rooms to shoot within a home, as they present many challenges, such as reflections in glass, shower frames, and mirrors. Due to their small size, bathrooms are typically photographed from within the doorway. However, for very large bathrooms, it may be possible or necessary to shoot from inside the room. When composing the image, try to avoid cutting off bathtubs and sinks and ensure the shower frame does not obstruct the tapware and sink. Some bathroom layouts may make it impossible to include the bath or shower, sink, and toilet in one frame, even with a wide-angle lens or camera setting. In this case, it is best to capture the one or two features that look best in the frame, like the sink and toilet or sink, shower, and bath. Depending on the quality of your bathroom fixtures, you may want to focus on certain elements of the bathroom, such as the sink and bathtub, and avoid showing the toilet in the photos. Also, depending on the position of the mirror and other glass within the bathroom ensuite, you may have to be careful of where you position yourself as to avoid appearing in any reflections or mirrors. If the bathroom vanity and sink are higher than the recommended camera height of 1.1 to 1.3 meters, you should raise the camera height by approximately 20 centimeters so that you have some elevation over the sink and it does not occupy too much of the composition. Example 1. This bathroom image was captured using a Nikon D810 on a tripod approximately 1.2 meters off the ground. Three exposures were captured manually from an optimal exposure of 1 13th of a second. An underexposed image at 1 50th was captured to reduce the brightness in the frosted windows, followed by an overexposed image at a quarter of a second to bring out details in the darker areas of the image, like the tiled flooring. The composition positions the bathroom vanity and sink in the center of the frame, with the toilet or shower and bath evenly balanced on either side of the images. The front-on composition clearly shows the natural and ambient light sources as well as the timber drawer feature and green tile splashback. Example 2 in this example, the bathroom was photographed using a 2012 model Panasonic DMC TZ30 point and shoot digital camera on a tripod from just outside the doorway to get as much in the frame as possible with the 24mm focal length of the lens. The front on composition sacrifices part of the toilet to ensure the bathroom vanity is centered and the shower is clearly visible in the frame. The image also highlights the quality of the tiling and the feature cabinetry on the vanity. The final image was processed by PropertyRender.com to correct a variety of elements, including straightening the verticals, digital cleaning of the mirror, and removal of the reflection of the camera. Example 3 This ensuite was captured with a handheld iPhone 11 using the Smart HDR feature. The built-in wide-angle lens setting was also used to capture the width of the bathroom, but due to the layout, part of the door is in the frame. The composition highlights the bathroom vanity and the style of the tiled feature wall in the shower in the center of the frame. Although the edge of the door is within the image, it still partly shows the toilet, so the viewer has a good idea of the total bathroom size and layout. The single JPEG image was processed by PropertyRender.com to straighten the verticals and remove light reflections from tiles in addition to color correction, contrast, white balance, and other adjustments. Example 4 In Example 4, the bathroom was photographed using a Nikon D750 DSLR and its manual setting. A tripod was used for this with no flash to avoid flash reflections on the tiles and to also utilize the artificial light from the bathroom's ambient lighting. The image was overexposed by a quarter of a second after an optimal exposure of 1 13th of a second was captured. And finally, an underexposed bracket of 1 50th of a second was collected to bring back the appearance of the blue sky in the frosted windows. The images were edited to bring through more of the appearance of the blue sky in the frosted windows and balance the exposure evenly throughout the picture.